Hey guys, today I partnered up with Hulu to talk to you for a little bit about 18th century fashion trends inspired by their original series Harlots. So Harlots is set in 18th century London and it is about two rivaling houses that illustrate 18th century fashion trends beautifully. You have the Quigley house on one hand, which is more high-end, chic, kind of more luxury house. And then you have the Wells house, which is much more common kind of lower class house. So you can really see how people from different social groups dressed in the period. In the Quigley house, which is the kind of higher end house, you can very clearly see that they have been inspired by French fashion, which is something that was very common among higher class kind of people. They were very much inspired by French court fashion, very elaborate, very decadent dressing, lots of pastel colors. You can see most of the girls are usually wearing creams and kind of pastel pinks and light kind of shades like that. So all the girls are dressed very on trend and the owner of the house, Lydia, is always dressed so beautifully. She has maids to help her get dressed. They put all these elaborate kind of undergarments on her and then help her get dressed, which is quite a big contrast to the ladies at the Wells house who wear much deeper, brighter kind of jewel toned colors. You see your kind of emeralds and ruby type of colors and their dresses are much more simple in general. There aren't as many tiny ruffles and kind of like flowers and patterns and everything. The dresses are much more simple, practical and more after the kind of English fashion than the French court style. So within the Wells house itself, the different girls wear different clothing to kind of show their status and their place within the house. So for example, Charlotte, who is the older girl and kind of the star of the house, she wears a little bit more elaborate clothing. She wears very bright kind of attention grabbing colors, whereas her, her little sister Lucy wears much more softer kind of innocent colors. She is just being introduced into the world. So she has a lot more of that kind of innocence about her. So you can also see the difference between the two houses in the accessories that they wear. So Lydia from the Quigley house, she wears all this heavy kind of very complex jewelry with gemstones and she also has fake flowers in her hair which were actually quite costly so not everybody could afford to wear those uh, you can see the wells girls mostly just wear ribbons um, as necklaces and also in their hair with the exception of charlotte because charlotte has a keeper there's this man george howard who visits her very regularly and gives her gifts of jewelry and gold so she has all of that to wear which the other wells girls don't so you can also see the difference in the hair and makeup that the ladies wear so Lydia Quigley is usually pretty much always seen in a wig. She has these white big powdered wigs, which were quite expensive and she wears them to show her wealth and kind of status. Whereas uh, Margaret Wells and the other Wells girls just wear their hair in simple kind of pulled back hairstyles. Nothing too elaborate, uh, would have been quite quick to do in the morning. And the whole look is just much more practical in general. And the same kind of goes for makeup. The Quigley girls all wear this really kind of like typical 18th century makeup with the white powdered face and then red cheeks and everything whereas the wells girls barely wear any makeup at all no white powder whatsoever just a very simple look harlots really is a gem to watch if you are into 18th century fashion there are so many different dresses on display and menswear and just the most beautiful beautiful clothing and hairstyles and just everything if you are into this kind of stuff definitely be sure to check out harlots you can now watch the whole thing on hulu it is all streaming definitely go check it out Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!